Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and today I'm going to use Jasper AI to write a blog post. So I've been using a different, a few different AI platforms or tools to write this specific blog post, just because I want to compare them and see what I'm getting from each platform, how to use each platform, and what we like most um, from each one. So we can decide, you know, which platforms work better for certain types of content, or is there one, you know, one platform that's a game changer for all types of content? That's what we're really looking at in a series of uh, these YouTube videos that I've been creating. So let me share my screen and I'm going to open up the Jasper AI site. So it's just uh, jasper.ai. Um, yeah, I did record this video already yesterday. Uh, and so I showed you what it looked like logging in from the starting from the actual website and then clicking start for free. Uh, I was able when I did that to sign up for a free account. So there is some limitations to a free account. I didn't have to put a credit card uh, number in or anything like that. Um, I think I get 3000 characters, like up to a limit of 3000 characters, but it does look like I can complete some special tasks, watch videos, join trainings, things like that for these credits that might get me access to some more features. Um, however, I recorded the wrong screen when I did all of this yesterday, unfortunately. So I've been trying to recreate exactly what I was recording yesterday, and I cannot find the free plan again. Um, I only see plans that offer a five-day free trial, and you do have to put your credit card information in in order to start that trial. So what I'm showing you here now is I'm logged into my account already. So what you're missing out on is actually Actually clicking sign up and going through that process. It was very easy to complete. Um, but now that I'm in here, uh, let's just get started and show you how to use, or rather how to write that blog post. So what I'm going to do is over on the left, click on templates. And then I want to use this one shot blog post, which is in beta, um, but seemed to work really well when I signed up for the account yesterday. This is what I used. So again, I just clicked on templates. I'm going to click on one shot blog post. And then this is actually information that I had already put in. So it's sort of saved in place. So perfect. I'm going to leave it and we'll chat through these um, features. Now, I've only, before accessing Jasper, I had only used ChatGPT or OpenAI to create a blog. Um, I'll link the video below on that so you can see what that um, UI looks like, what that interface looks like. Um, the difference between ChatGPT or OpenAI, which is the same company, uh, and Jasper is that here in this blog post creator, um, or this, what is it called? My Zoom is in the way. The one-shot blog post feature is um, rather than just typing in a prompt on a blank screen, uh, Jasper is giving me sort of the different fields of information that I would want to put in to include in this blog post. So if you are new to using AI, it may feel more comfortable to use a tool like Jasper or like AnyWord where it allows you to put in the information that you're wanting to write about into these specific fields or sections. Whereas in ChatGPT, you're literally looking at a blank screen. You have to give AI that prompt and then they'll give you something in return. So when you're using those platforms, ChatGPT or OpenAI, you will have to know what prompts to use in order to generate content. Whereas here, I can really start typing in almost anything um, based on what they're asking me to provide. Uh, the blog topic, the tone of voice, the intended audience that the blog is for. So I really like that feature. Now, because I want to try to use similar content, or I'm basically creating the same blog and all of these different platforms to see what I come up with, um, what I did was from the Interact blog post where we're giving chat GPT prompts, I basically put this into um, this section here of what the blog topic is. So I want to write a blog for um, basically a travel blog. So top three must have items for every traveler. Now, I totally made this up. You could you could change that out to whatever it is that your blog topic is on. Um, so think through, you know, like what, what you're wanting to write about and just add that in here. Um, and I do know from using OpenAI that AI works best when you're giving it an outline and then you ask it to fill that outline in. So you can see in what I wrote here in this blog topic section is essentially I'm, I'm doing that. I'm asking it to write. I'm asking Jasper to write an outline for a blog post titled top three must have items for every traveler. The outline should include an introduction, three main points. So those three items and a conclusion. 
then after it gives me that outline, I'm asking AI to write 200 words for the introduction for each of the main points and the conclusion. And then for each of the main points, I want it to include a point of view and cite a statistic to back up that point of view with an example. So this is very similar to the prompt that I put into ChatGPT and OpenAI, also very similar to the prompt that I used for AnyWord. Um, so we'll leave it like that. The tone of voice, you can completely change up based on your brand. So I'm just going to go with a playful, uh, fun tone of voice. You can see here you have this many character limits, so you can really add a lot of information to the tone if you want to. Um, and then the intended audience. I really like this. This isn't something that is necessarily called out to you on ChatGPT or OpenAI because, again, it's just that blank interface where you're giving it the prompts and it's giving you information back. But here it's asking me who is the intended audience so that I don't forget who I'm actually writing this blog post for because I really want the blog post to reflect who the audience, who it's supposed to be for, right? So that they want to read it, they're interested in it, it relates to resonates with them. So this is a blog post on travel. So for the intended audience, I put travelers, international travelers, first time travelers, and new to travel, probably because people who are more experienced in travel already know what items they should be bringing with them. Um, so this is what I came up with here. Now, the next is language options. I'm going to keep everything in English. And then what you're going to want to do once you're finished filling out these spaces is just click, oops, right here on generate. And let's see what it gives us. Okay, so here over to the right, you can see uh, here's the title, top three must-have items for every traveler. Here's the introduction, and it gave me those 200 words. Let's just read that real quick. Uh, whether you're going abroad or just a few states away, it's important to be prepared. There are many items travelers should consider packing. There are three must-have items. Let's take a look at those top three items. So this paragraph that it's giving me for the introduction is very similar to uh what i've seen in the other platforms as well basically like hey you know traveling is exciting but you want to make sure that you have everything that you need with you here's the top items that you don't want to forget and then we can go into each section of like what that item is and why you'd want it so here in the body is the first item is a portable charger and then here's that paragraph that it fills in so in 2019 more than 1 billion people traveled internationally we rely on our phones and other devices for so much when traveling Cool. So here's the stat of how many people traveled internationally. Um, oops. So if you just click on this, it does give you like a, a bigger view. So let's look at this. Um, maybe it'll be bigger on your screen. Um, but I, I have a feeling that the sort of like international travel aspect is coming in because that's who I put in for my intended audience. So I could go back and let's say I didn't want this to be for international travel travelers, but really wanted to focus on first time travelers new to travel. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. I can click generate again and see what it will come up with and how it changes. So let's look to see if that first paragraph or that first main point section that we've created changes based on the intended audience that we've adjusted. Okay, so I regenerated this twice because the first time I, I changed the intended audience and clicked generate, it stayed right here and didn't seem like anything changed. So I clicked generate again and realized if I scroll up, it did change the content for me. So the first time I hit it, uh, it actually changed to a smartphone. And you can see it doesn't talk about international traveler travel travel anymore. Um, so that's really cool that you can change up who the intended audience is, maybe even write different versions of blog posts based on intended audience. Um, and it and it literally writes it for that person because we're not talking about international travel anymore. Um, cool. And then I'll just go up one more time because I hit that generate button twice. If you scroll up a little bit further, you can see, again, still don't have international traveler listed in the uh, intended audience. And again, it doesn't look at changed the, the products that you would travel with, um, but I'm still not seeing anything about international travel. So I would say you would want to use a tool like Jasper if you're new to AI, uh, if you're just getting started, because I do know that Jasper offers support. And actually, after I signed up for uh, a plan, I'm, again, I'm just on the free account right now. I didn't have to put a credit card, but I was also sent an email asking me to join their community. So I really like the um 
I really like the fact that they have support for you, uh, especially if you're new to using AI. And then again, like I was saying earlier, that you're able to use these specific fields to put in the information that you would want to include in your blog, um, rather than just having to stare at a blank screen and figure out the prompts to then put in um, so that AI can give you something back. So Jasper, I think would be for you if I would definitely recommend giving it a try. It looks like it writes very reliable blog posts, something very similar. This, this um, content is very similar to what I saw chat GPT give me back, open AI give me back and any word. Um, so it's definitely high quality. Um, but I think the Jasper would be used for people yeah, who are newer and who are looking for more support and a little bit more guidance when you're using the tool. So let's keep going. We'll keep playing with more softwares and I'll see you in the next video.